Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation. 2x plus 1 over x whole to the power 2x plus 1 is equal to 8 over 27. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start by taking power 1 over x to both sides of this equation. 2 times x plus 1 divided by x whole to the power this power 2x plus 1 is equal to 8 over 27 and from here we take power 1 over x to both sides of this equation. Now by using this power rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power 2x plus 1 by this 1 over x. So, this expression at left side will become 2x plus 1 divided by x whole to the power. This 2x plus 1 times 1 over x will become 2x plus 1 divided by x is equal to 8 over 27 whole to the power 1 over x. Now, inside parenthesis we have 2x plus 1 over x and this power we have 2x plus 1 over x. So, we suppose that let 2x plus 1 over x is equal to Now, we substitute m in this equation, then this equation will become m to the power m is equal to 8 divided by 27 whole to the power 1 over x. Now, because here we have 1 over x, so we further simplify this equation to get the value of 1 over x. This implies that this 2x plus 1 over x can be written as 2x over x plus 1 over x is equal to m. And this x will be cancelled out with this x and we move this 2 to the right side. Then this equation will become 1 over x is equal to m minus 2. Now, we replace this 1 over x with this m minus 2. Then, this equation will become m to the power m is equal to 8 divided by 27 whole to the power. In place of this 1 over x, we write this m minus 2. Next, m to the power m is equal to by using this power rule a over b whole to the power n is equal to b over a whole to the power negative n. This 8 over 27 to the power m minus 2 will become 27 over 8 whole to the power this negative 2 will become positive 2 and this positive m will become negative m. Now, from here we take power 1 over 2 minus m to both sides of this equation like this. At right hand side we take power 1 over 2 minus m and at left hand side we take power 1 over 2 minus m. Now, by using this power rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. This m to the power m whole to the power 1 over 2 minus m will become m to the power m times 1 m divided by 2 minus n is equal to this 2 minus m will be cancelled out with this 2 minus m. And here we are left with 27 
7 divided by 8. Next, m to the power m over 2 minus m is equal to this 27, this 27 is equal to 3 cubed and this 8 is equal to 8 is equal to 2 cubed. So, this 27 over 8 can be written as 3 over 2 whole cube. Now, at left hand side we have base m and at right hand side we have base 3 over 2 and at left hand side in the numerator we have m same as this base m. So, to make this 3 same as this 3 over 2 we multiply and divide this 3 by we multiply and divide this 3 by 1 over 2 and we divide by 1 over 2 and this 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 2 is equal to 1. So, multiplying by 1 does not make any change in the original expression. So, this equation now become m to the power m divided by 2 minus m is equal to 3 over 2 whole to the power this 3 times 1 over 2 will become 3 over 2 divided by this 1 over 2. Now, at left hand side we have same base m and in the power we have same numerator m and at right hand side we have same base 3 over 2 and in the power we have same numerator 3 over 2. Now, we want to make this 1 over 2 same as this 2 minus m. For this we see that what should be added in this 1 over 2, what should be added in this 1 over 2 to get 2. If we add 3 over 2 in this 1 over 2, we get 2 and from this expression if we move this plus 3 over 2 to the right hand side, then we get 1 over 2 is equal to 2 minus 3 over 2. So, we can replace this 1 over 2 with this 2 minus 3 over 2 then this equation will become m to the power m over 2 minus m is equal to 3 over 2 whole to the power 3 over 2 divided by we replace this 1 over 2 with this 2 minus 3 over 2 2 minus 3 over 2. Now, left hand side in the power we have 2 here and at right hand side we have 2 here and as a base at left hand side we have m and at right hand side as a base we have 3 over 2. And in the power as a numerator we have m and at right hand side in the power as a numerator we have 3 over 2 and here we have 2 minus m and here we have 2 minus 3 over 2. So, we can write this m equal to this 3 over 2. So, m is equal to 3 over 2. Now, to find the value of x, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 2x plus 1 over x is equal to m. We have supposed that 2 times x plus 1 over x is equal to m. In this equation, we put the value of m 3 over 2. Then, this equation will become 2 times x plus 1 over x is equal to 3 over 2. And from here, we use cross multiplication. We multiply these two by this 2x plus 1, we multiply this 3 by this x like this 2 times 2x plus 1 is equal to 3 times x 3x. 
No, 2 times 2x, 4 times x and 2 times plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 3x. We move this 3x to the left side, then 4x minus 3x is equal to, we move this plus 2 to the right side, it becomes negative 2 and 4x minus 3x, x is equal to negative 2. This is the final value of x, this is the final answer of this equation. Now, let us verify this value of x by putting this value in the original equation. The original equation is 2 times x plus 1 over x whole to the power 2x plus 1 is equal to 8 over 27. In this equation, we put the value of x negative 2. Then, this equation will become 2 times value of x negative 2 plus 1 divided by in place of this x we write negative 2 whole to the power 2 times value of x is negative 2 plus 1 is equal to 8 over 27. Now, this is 2 times negative 2 negative 4 plus 1 divided by negative 2 whole to the power this 2 times negative 2, negative 4 plus 1 is equal to 8 over 27. Now, negative 4 plus 1 will become negative 3 divided by negative 2 whole to the power. This negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3 is equal to 8 over 27. Now, this minus will be cancelled with this minus by using this power rule a over b whole to the power negative n is equal to b over a whole to the power n. This 3 over 2 to the power negative 3 will become 2 over 3 whole to the power positive 3 is equal to 8 over 27. And this 2 over 3 whole cube is equal to 8 over 27 is equal to 8 over 27. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, it is proved that the value of x negative 2 is a valid solution.